everybody this is Julian welcome back to my channel and welcome to another plant related video in today's video I'm gonna be doing a combination of a plant haul and a planting with Julian episode all in one so I'm gonna talk about the three planters that I just got today and yesterday that I will be adding into my collection and pairing it up today in a planting with Julian episode if you guys love watching these type of videos let me know down in the comments below thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel so the first thing I want to talk about is the planter that I picked up yesterday and it looks like this. It has a drainage hole and a tray on the bottom. And I got this from TJ Maxx in Santa Monica. I just randomly went in there yesterday with Ebby and ended up picking this up, which I thought was really, really perfect for my collection. I have that planter here. And then I just got these two here and they're plastic white hanging baskets on the very smaller side. And I ordered this online and I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. So I found two plants that I will be going ahead and filling this up with. And it just has like a little drainage tray here and then a hole on the bottom here so that there's nice drainage for the water to come out of. So I'm gonna test these planters out. If I do like them, I'll go ahead and order more. A lot of my hanging plants are double the size of this so it won't work out with this particular planter and the size. Um, but I do have two plants today that I wanted to go ahead and plant up in this video. So I have my apron on and I have like a crop hoodie on because it's on the chilly side uh, so I am just gonna go ahead and work with this planter first I've been up like I always say from 4 30 in the morning for work and I'm about to head to my second studio of the day and so I'm teaching in two different studios today and I'm, all, I'm about to meet my friend for lunch so we're doing a lot of multitasking here and before I go ahead and film the updated plant tour in my home I wanted to get this done because I'm probably going to feature this particular plant on my big shelf that I just picked up yesterday and I upgraded it so there's like an additional maybe one and a half feet taller of height and I can fit more plants in there so I'm really happy with my new shelf so, so here it is wild and out of control this particular one was featured in my bathroom plant tour collection last year and um, actually the original planter that it was in was in a terracotta and it was hanging out here outside in my patio but one day my gardeners came and i think they knocked down my planter they ended up going into my potting bench and getting this back up planter and sticking the plant back in there thinking that i wasn't going to notice but i did um but i want really want to showcase this plant on a on my nice shelf that i just got yesterday so i'm gonna replant this and do a little switch up here and I think it's gonna look nice in a white planter. I'm just gonna throw the dirt on the bottom here. See what happens. And then take a look at the roots here. So there's lots of roots and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of spread it out to give it some room for growth here. And then I'm gonna fill the edges nice and compact with some dirt. So I'm going to go ahead and see where I like it right here and I'm going to fill the edges with dirt. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a great pairing and I really want to style this on my new shelf that I just picked up and reassembled yesterday and I am so excited to share my new updated plant shelf. It is definitely bigger than my original shelf that I did share on my plant tour last year um, but I wanted to go ahead and restyle my plants in my home before my new updated tour because I was definitely running out of space so before I do the plant tour in my home I want to go ahead and add this guy on the shelf and it'll be part of the plant gang inside of my home now that I have a very tall shelf I can go ahead and style this on the top and I think it'll look fantastic uh, with a nice trailing plant on the top since I already have I think my string of hearts is on that top shelf but this is what it looks like and I think it looks great what do you guys think about that and it's going to look absolutely stunning on my top shelf so I'm gonna go ahead and probably you know I'll try to spread it out so that it grows nice and even over the planter versus just on one side um, something like this kind of even it out instead of just being heavy on one end train it to grow on all sides of the planter and this thing has propagated multiple times i gave my friend in san diego he got a cutting as well as i think jenny got a cutting too in long beach and um 
think a few other people got cuttings from this plant that I know of. So I think I like it like that. I think it's nice and spread out. It's also a good time to untangle it because this gets really twined up here. You can also see the condition of the plant. So this is the current condition of the plant. I did spread it out over the planter. I think it absolutely looks stunning and I think it'll be a lot more happier in this planter and living on the top shelf of my home. So stay tuned for an updated plant tour, plant shelf update um, featuring this plant and the rest of them that's currently living on my shelf and they look so cute guys. Okay, moving along with the next one. So I think for the two hanging planters, I'm gonna feature my prayer plant in one of them uh, because it is on the shallow side and this is way overdue for uh, a switch out here and I see a little bit of dried up ends here. I'm just going to prune it real quick before I plant it up. And this has just been hanging on my hanging section here in my patio. It's going to continue to stay here because it does get nice natural lighting and let's go ahead and take it out i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of roots that are wanting to stretch out here so i'm going to go ahead and snap the hanging plastic hook off of the planter and i got this plant from star nursery in las vegas so let's go ahead and see what the condition of the roots are so very healthy but definitely in need of a transplant. What I'm going to do is fill the bottom up with one scoop of dirt. I'm not too sure how this is going to stay put. But I'm guessing something like this. Maybe. I don't know. This thing is kind of flimsy, but I'm thinking that we push this plastic Hole. Nope. I don't know. I'm not too sure what this is. Anyway, I have it in a little hole here. Let me just do one scoop just to have something on the bottom here. We'll see how this does. And then what I'm going to do is loosen up the root system here. it in and then position it to how I want it. Okay. So I definitely need a lot of more additional dirt in here. Let's see here. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have plastic hanging baskets. Um, how do you like to style them and are they big hanging plastic baskets and where did you pick them up? Because uh, I got this online and, you know, when you buy things online, you just never know what the size is going to be like. I know people were saying that it was on the smaller side, but I wanted to do one order and see how I liked it. And if I wanted more, I can always easily get more. So let me prune this old leaf off. This is a good time to check the condition of the plant and do some pruning as well. Come off. Another one. For the most part, this condition of the plant is fine. I think it just needs a new home. And let's see how it does in this hanging basket. I mean, ideally, I would love to have all of my hanging plants in white planters. But I'd have to find some bigger ones here. So I think I'm going to leave it as this, guys. What do you think? Let me see how this will arrange right over it without hurting the plant. And then I'll have to bring them to the inside here without damaging the plant here. Tricky. I think that looks good like that. And I think I'm going to bring this guy over on this end here. So this is my official first hanging planter because if you guys watch my channel and keep up with my plant collection, I don't have any hanging plants in my home because I don't have any natural lighting or not much natural lighting in my home. So all of my plants are, for the most part, spread out. 
as much as I want all of them in my home. So this is what the condition of the plant is looking like here. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. I wonder if I can do that. I'm gonna just press it in and hope for the best. I'll check on it in a couple of days, but I think this is what it's going to look like here. Try to spread it out a little bit more. Um, I don't think it looks good, just like this. Let me know what do you guys think. It looks kind of crazy. I think I might add maybe like a little chopstick or something here to lift it up. But for now, I think this is good. And um, I will definitely hang it at the end of the video to see what it looks like styled with the rest of my collection. And um, yeah, go from there. Let me know if you guys have the prayer plant and how do you guys style it. I thought this was a plant that I could just kind of see if the planter works good with me. Um, so to be determined, because this is definitely an odd shaped type of plant. I will probably get chopsticks though and bring it up like this so it can stand up instead of droop down. But for now, it's good enough for now. Last planter, let's go ahead and fill it up with dirt. And then I think I'm going to place my... I'm going to place it here. My peperomia. Alright. So I have a trailing peperomia. I believe I got this from Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea Market, if you guys watch my channel. And it's been hanging out in its original planter for a while. This is a very fragile peperomia. Um, it looks kind of sad, but I see a lot of new growth up here if you take a look here. Um, and all in the edges, there's small little growth. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. But I'm thinking maybe if I get it out of this planter and into a new home, it'll do better. And this will probably stay on my hanging sh my hanging section here my patio uh, with the rest of my hanging plants so let's get this wire off of it without damaging the plant and let's see here take that out so here's the condition of the plant it is crazy but let's go ahead and flip it upside down give it a nice squeeze so it doesn't look that stressed out in here but I definitely do want to replant it so let me just go ahead and just give it a little love here and open up the root system here and then make a little hole for it on the bottom here and then I want it nice and positioned in a compact planter here so it doesn't shift around and I see a little fallout here with some roots so I'm going to put this in water, guys, and I'll see what happens. It'll be interesting for me to see. I'll use my smaller tool here. Add a little dirt in the edges. Okay. This is going to be interesting to put the chains up and around it. But let me get this part first. Nice and filled. wild and crazy but once I style it I think it'll look good so let's slowly bring the chain over it without damaging the plant here and see what happens okay so I have it here let's go ahead and bring this part Also to detangle it. Do you guys have this peperomia? Let me know down in the comments below. Definitely um, not on the hardy side, so I 
I don't suggest this one to somebody who's new to plants. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. It is on the heavy side in the front here. So I'm gonna bring this section up and over. It's all about placement now and how do I want it to grow in this hanging basket. I'll eventually have to repot this when it gets a little bit bigger, which should be interesting. Um, I think that's gonna be it, guys. What do you think? Let me bring up a little bit more, maybe one section here up to this side. My arm is getting tired. Let me just stand up here. Okay, I think this is it. I'm gonna do a little spin here. So here is the final look. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? I think out of all of the hanging plants that I have, this one worked well. And I will definitely give it some water and check on it in a day or two and see if it likes its new living condition. Um, but that's going to wrap up the video, guys. I know it's short, but I did want to go ahead and plant up these three. And I'm still on a lookout for bigger white hanging baskets for the rest of my collection because i do have i think over 10 hanging plants that need home but for now at least i got these two planted up if you guys enjoyed this planting with julian episode and haul let me know down in the comments below subscribe to my channel you can find more of my blog at lojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha bye